How'd it go out there? Uh, I don't know. How are you, Miss Norwood? Good. Oh, warm, yeah, I told, I said when wouldn't care if y'all would come in and ask. I read the report, I don't think there's uh, there. I, just, I read the whole thing. Um, I don't know if anybody was opposed to school boards. But, hey. Well, I don't know. Let's I, don't debate that right here. I was, I was laughing because I had a former neighbor who lives in past Christiane, Mississippi, and she wants to run for school board. I thought, well, this is ironic. Well, I, I told people, I didn't think the fact that I ran proved I was crazy, but I think the fact that I ran the second time proved, because by then you know what you're getting <laughs> into, <laughs> and that proves you are nuts. Uh, I'm teasing. That was, it was, I valued that time, and I enjoyed what I was doing. My guess is y'all want to talk about Henderson? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. I know that when we I'm talk... I'm really on, I'm squeezed, but we're running early, so uh, uh, tell me what, what, uh, give me the unvarnished version. Well, I know that when you and I talked on Monday and you expressed that you wanted some time to, uh, to kind of rethink some of that stuff here, it's the best way to go forward, and the more we talked about it between us and everything else. I don't know how we would do that unless we did it with a hearing officer like Mr. Anderson or somebody simply because, you know, the members, a lot of people are no longer at Henderson. They're at different schools or whatever and uh, and they they claim he's the reason and people who had been, who had... Where did they go? Bear home McClellan, McClellan, some, McClellan. some people left the state and some people have been reassigned because of some of the things that he has done and continue to be bounced around so they're still suffering the ramifications for his behavior and of course there's, there's two sides to that pancake of course well i understand he's not going to lay down and say sure I'm well, no, I, okay I yeah I'm, I'm happy to do that if y'all think that's a healthy thing to do i got no problem with that i uh i want to do these things quicker the only problem and i'm that's why i'm on this contract mm -hmm. for grievances I mean, I think the biggest problem with all this stuff is it's gotten stale. But uh, I'm ready to do it. I'll do it tomorrow. Uh, well, or whenever. I mean, that's, I don't mean to say tomorrow if that's if they can't get up here. But I'm, I mean, I'm game. I just, I just tell you, if if uh, the sooner we slice that boil, I thought the better approach was to try to work through it. Um, and that would have been fine if it had been at the beginning of you know a year ago, but. That's what kills me, and I agree with you, Monica. I just I want to get these things like when they file them, I'm ready to go. I mean, I'm they they come on my I'll hear them. And uh, but here's the here's the thing. And let me just say regarding uh, there's also there's a reason why there are timelines involved. We've dealt with situations where we've had to find the document when when you have administrators who falsify documentation. Well, let's, we I'm have not to. Agree we have that or even assume that ever occurs. Because if I ever see anybody fall, you or anybody else falsify any information, you can rest assured that'll never happen if I know about it. But go on. So that that may be your perspective, but there have been many superintendents before you, and there'll be others behind you. No, and it's not any. it's not no. fair to the membership that not have an opportunity to prepare for well, sure. uh, a mean, hearing. If somebody files a grievance, mostly it's fact related. I don't understand why, why y'all think this works. This process is is, uh, is is killing that school. Now, if y'all think this is all going to be worked out in front of Victor Anderson, maybe so. I may hear these. You know, I just want to get them over with, and I'm going to go out there and talk to those folks like adults, like I've done already, and say, if y'all want to work together as a team, we've got a fighting chance. If you don't, don't y'all agree that if they continue to do what they've done and not assigning blame, mm -hmm. uh, you know, those same teachers have probably uh, uh, been around the block. I don't know who these teachers are. My guess is these are not young teachers. Some of them may be. I bet they're older. I bet they've been in lots of different schools, and I bet they've had problems. Is that a fact? Yes, that's uh, not no. necessarily the case. Yes, Some of not. these were went to high school, went to middle school at Henderson, mm -hmm. were asked by Mr. Burton to teach at Henderson, and had been part of the Henderson mm -hmm. family for so long. Well, let's just tee them up and hit them then. And uh, whenever y'all want to schedule them, I'll try to hear them if I can. Is this an association grievance at mm -hmm. this point? So that's the, that's the that's the reason I think that the 
process outlined by Mr. Anderson to do the level two with the, with the presentation of exhibits, the documentation, things of that nature, I think that's very important because these people are entitled, as to say, their day in court to be heard, and of course, you know, Mr. Williams well, has the same way. right. I'm so per I'm perfectly happy to do that. I have no objection to doing that. I just think um, the longer that the association and the school district um, allow these sorts of things to to uh, blow up school years, not just days, not just weeks, not just months, but years, we are going to be out of business. And you guys will be poking around the ashes with me going, what happened to us? Because we're getting our butt kicked on this East End thing. If we can't stop that, and I'm not saying that outside this room, I, I'm not going to whine in public about that, but I'm going to try to work against that. If that thing goes, uh, and, we don't, and we're sitting around here fighting amongst each other, and again, I'm not taking sides. Frank Williams, I don't know Frank Williams from Adam's house cat. You know, if he's misbehaved, he'll pay the price. Uh, but I'm just telling y'all, and if y'all think that's, I trust your judgment. If you think this is the best way to kind of lance the boil and well, get it over with, I'm good with that. So I sure. think that would be the best way to handle it. And of course, since it has sat around here since December of last year, it's like normally when we got the email from Mr. Easton saying we're going to do this on Wednesday, that's five days. Normally, when we go through the level two procedure, we normally, when they coordinate their dates and find out which hearing officers has which dates available, they assign a particular date and say, well, okay, this will be done. Normally that's 10 days in advance, and then we submit our witness list five days Understood. in advance. Well, I'm good with all that. Let's just so kick like it out said, there on a day when you can do it. I'll see if I can do it. If I can, I will. If Vic has to do it, he can do it. He's a great guy. I trust his judgment. If he finds that Frank Williams, and if that's what y'all want to do, is, is draw and quarter Frank Williams, well, uh, that'll be your judgment. I mean, if you think that's best for our school district, uh, that's fine. And if uh, if that's what Vic or I decide, that'll be fine too. And that's that's it'll be done fairly. So sure, I'm ready to go. Well, when do y'all want? Just tell us when you want to do it, or I'll get her to tell us, and uh, away we go. And uh, will you? Will, uh, I guess. A lot of these people are scattered out, so you, if we need a little more time, I mean, it's waited this long, so when I say I'm in a hurry, what difference does it make? I mean, 10 days, 15 days, or I can do it any time. Um, and then bring the video. I understand there's a video of him blowing That's school or doing video. something crazy. I haven't seen it, but. I well, have it. And well, that, I don't want to see it until I know. The if, right. I, if I'm the hearing guy, I'll just, you know. And, and like I said, whether you hear it, whether Victor Anderson hears it, I mean, I think that these people deserve their day in court in front of, you know, somebody who's going to be impartial. It's not not necessarily my intent to draw and quarter anybody, but the thing about it is, if you've mistreated people and you've got a list like this, then you know what, those people are right to some type of redress, because as it is, some of them are still, oh, well, one of them says, well, I want to drop out the grievance, but others are like, no, we've been waiting this long. We want to see it through, and, and we Everybody owe that to our members. Everybody has that right. There's no problem with that, and uh, that's, you're exactly right. My hope is just, again, when we get through with it, that whatever the result, whether Frank Williams is, is uh, sanctioned or whether these teachers are found to have misbehaved, I don't know that he's filed a grievance against them, so I guess they don't have any downside other than... He's recommended their terminations, suspensions. Stuff going well, are, are they pending right now? I mean, I don't have any pending terminations. One, one of them uh, was just uh, adjudicated in his favor, but all the information wasn't presented. But Which two, one was that? That was with uh, Ryan Gore. Have you read that? But... I have not read all of it. If I'm in the process. If I, if I catch anybody in my school district using the words that he used, I will terminate them. They won't get a chance to get here. I, mean, I promise you that. We're not going to do what it is. If, if what Dr. Anderson said was true, I don't mean to cut mm -hmm. you off, Monica, but good gravy. Um, my goodness. But from uh, what I understand, they didn't share what uh, Mr. Uh, Williams also said. Well, it but, doesn't matter. They, they, if, they, but two me, of the other cases have been... And they were in favor of the employees, where, again, Mr. Williams used inappropriate language in those as well. Well, that's, that's but, what we're going to find you know. out, I guess, on when we have these things. But, I mean, it, it works both ways. You're exactly right. If, if two grown black men are using the N-word, uh, one against the other, 
I have no no doubt in my mind how those those things ought to be decided, especially if anybody else is around. Two grown men in the back of a parking lot screaming at one another is well, bad me... enough. But if anybody else is around and we're disrespecting one another to that degree in front of if a student, anybody like that, I mean that's we, we that's that's uh, ridiculous. It's toxic. I mean it just kills the the atmosphere of the whole school. So and and it and it wasn't your decision, but you know what the decision. Whoever made it, I will assume it was your predecessor, but basically had told many administrators, well, do what you want, let the union grieve it, which caused us tremendous problems mm -hmm. because we were used to being reasonable about stuff, but all of a sudden it got to be... Well, I hear you loud and clear. Yes, you sir. and I made a decision about how to resolve this, and you've been overruled. I understand that. I don't have any problem with that. Uh, I'm more than happy uh, to hear these myself if I don't have time. Dr. Anderson can do it. We need to just try to compartmentalize this and get to the chase. It costs us money every time we hire him. The only good news is I'm free. I can, I, 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 uh, um, and it's my job to do it. Um, and that's, I think if superintendents did this sort of thing, then they would have a sense of what, you know, I've been in all these schools. Um, but some of the things I've heard, um, in other schools unrelated to this, um, you know, I'm glad I'm in school. That's where I'm going to be. Uh, I may go by, I can't go by Henderson today probably, but I'm, I'm you know, I swing in and out of these places. I got a set of keys. I can open every door into every building. I've got a, a code. I don't tell people I'm coming. I don't spy on them, but I just, I, and now most people are happy to see me because they know I'm in and out of the building. But I'll tell you the biggest problem I see going forward is getting this behind us. Let the chips fall where they may, you know, and, and they will. Uh, truth has a way of coming out. So if, mm -hmm. if these people think, gosh, let's just fight it out and see how it goes, um, I guess that's what he's doing. Mr. Williams is bringing his grievances, that one against Mr. Gore. I've seen the, the filing on, finding on that. I don't recall the other ones. I'm trying to get them all over with. And I, and I understand this, and this, to my knowledge here, unless Monica has one file, this is the last association grievance that we have to deal with. Like I said, individual grievances, we try to resolve those here, but when you have an individual who doesn't operate from that mindset, and... Well, don't, don't, don't... No, I'm, yeah. not, I'm not yeah. talking, about, no I'm talking about him, I'm just okay. talking about if you have an individual who is not okay. of that I'm mindset, it makes, it makes it more difficult for us to accomplish or to work for the same common goal, which is to try to keep Peaceful things resolution. moving forward. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, the thing, the thing that doesn't work very well, we've proven that, uh, our enrollment's down, down hard, hmm. down hard. Uh, we know that what we've done in the past has resulted in, uh, and, and again, if I had to blame anybody, I'd look in this chair before I got here. There were, there have been some people mm -hmm. who have held this position that I think, um, great detriment. Yeah, they really failed. I mean, they failed in terms of human interaction and relationships. Um, principles are changing. The ones that I'm impacting are changing to servant leadership, different model. It's not this dominating my way or the highway thing. Now, can teachers work under that model? Can they? Can all of us work under a model that's different? Meaning to say, we're all in this together, we're trying to, you know, we're trying to catch our breath sometimes, you know, instead of just saying, you know, Dad, damn it, that really flames me off and I'm gonna go. No, I've talked to principals in detail about that sort of thing, about the servant leadership model where you're the leader of the building for sure, but you lead from the front. You, there's nothing you won't do to help a kid. There's nothing you won't do to help a teacher, whether you like them or not, but you just keep focused on that, and you never lose sight of that. And, uh, you know, I inherited a bunch of people, and I've told them all, you know, you all had a job when I got here on May the 6th, and I told them at Henderson, I told them at uh, Hall, I told the staffs at uh, Cloverdale, I told the staff at Fair, I told the staff at McClellan that we we're going to try to work together, so that's all I'm trying to do. And I told them all that, and I told the principal staff. So, yeah, I'm good with this, this is fine. And uh, again, my only hope is that just like you guys, we can get it over with and then pick up the pieces if, 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 if they're pieces to be picked up or, or you know, 
substantially rehabilitate everybody and move on, or I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, that's the whole beauty of this thing. I'm glad we got the Katina Ray one behind us. I appreciate y'all handling that. That that's that's uh, that that ruling was important, and uh, we're moving there. This Mr. Gore guy. I'm glad we got that one behind us. Uh, we're going to uh, terminate him if he's had got. I don't know when he get if he's gotten the letter yet. Uh, there's no place for him. Uh, he does it again. I say terminate him. I don't mean that. He's going to get the seven days. That's what he was recommended. He wasn't recommended for termination. No. He was recommended for a seven day suspension um, without pay. But he's got 30 days to appeal that. We'll see if he does. He can go to the commissioner with that one. But then then he'll serve that suspension if if it sticks uh, thereafter. Uh, and then I don't know if any other ones that are right on the front burner right now. Well, no, These most of Henderson, really. Most of them, like I said, and the one that we talked about the other day, the gentleman here and the uh, situation it, at the elementary. It's Roman. I went out there that day. I, I, that's not even a grievance. That's just she wants to talk to him, and he he sent the letter to you. As I understand it, with a lot of history, I get all that history. So here's what I told her: I went out there that day, that very day. I got in my little car, I drove to Romine, and I, I sat privately with her, and I told her that that there's no purpose served uh, at this point by grinding on this man. You know, he's he's very clearly not very good at finishing up a school year, in my opinion. Uh, she's also got to find a better way to serve him, and that's the way I put it. You want to see him succeed, so you, with your experience, help him succeed. How are you going to do that? Think about it that way. Don't think about, you know, he's done something wrong and you're going to, don't think that way anymore. Think about, okay, he's, he must be good at what he does. He's been doing it a while. You told me he was a, a good art teacher, and I'm going to take your word for that. So let's figure out how do we make the most of his talent and then how do they learn how to get along? And so I said, just let, just forget about meeting him on Wednesday or whatever that day was. Just let's, you know, just cooperate and work together for a week or two. And then, well, if y'all need to have a meeting, I may not show up. I didn't tell her who I was going to send, but y'all can go out there and meet with. Well, and and we do. And like I said, there's two sides of pancake. And you said, from your in your opinion, that you didn't feel he was good at finishing up the year. But I would counter here. It, with my opinion of saying, you know what, that the principal is has been the victim of receiving bad advice, and that's a, that's the my opinion. Who gave her bad advice? <laughs> uh, what you want me to list names? Yeah. Uh, well, I would think that your employee specialist. I believe that Miss Richardson, who was splitting duties with uh, so Dr. Mitchell. Mitchell, they both every time I had to go out there for an issue. Both of them were there. Both of them were just like, and you know what? When I went and talked with her one on one, it was very Talk with calm. Ms. Well, Jones, you mean? Yes, when I had to go out there on those occasions mm -hmm. where we talked, it was very collegial. There was well, nothing. How, how come? How come this this gentleman can't work with her, and vice versa? I mean, you could turn that turn it completely. How come she can't work with him? That's what I'm trying to get at. I'm not trying to blame him at all, and I'm not trying to blame her. I'm just trying to say, you got two people making more money than they probably ever thought they were going to make in jobs that are really pretty neat jobs, working with people and kids that I think they like. I really do think she likes her job, but I, I, I bet he loves him. Oh, yeah. And then, and yet somehow, you were telling me that, you, that every at the end of every year, we always get to the point at the end of the year where things get in the ditch. Somehow. Well, it's not always at the end of every year because one year it happened toward the beginning. As I told you, he was he was itinerant, working between two schools. Yes, yeah, I hate that. Too. And the thing about it is, when the other principal would demand that he stay a little extra, this, that, and other, to cover so somebody can have duty or whatever, or duty free, or whatever. And then when he would go out there, then he would get chastised. He's like, look, I'm, you know, this is what I'm directed here. I'm not going to be insubordinate to anybody. Yeah, I just got to get out of the middle of this. Right, problem. and he tried to get out of the middle of that. And the thing about it is, and then, of course, the little things. Everybody in the building got a new printer here. He got nothing. When he inquired about it, they said, well, I think we got a broken one around here. Maybe I'll send that downtown and give that to you. Well, that's, that's, well, and, and, and the sure, thing about well, being an art teacher 
that's hands on, especially in the elementary. Oh I mean, yeah, and, I went in the room. Uh, where was I? What room I was in? They were doing. Uh, they had a big chart. Anyway, I guess what what I'm trying to find out, and I, what what this really informs me is, is 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 do we or don't we have a situation where, by and large, and I guess it's true, by and large, most people work because we got we got 3,400 employees, 3,402, I believe. Let's just get the number out. Uh, 3,412 employees, full-time equivalents. I'm trying to figure out in my mind uh, two things, and I guess I'm, I'm relying on you guys to help me a little bit. Uh, how often and to what degree do we expect these grown-ups to get along? And then to, to what extent and when do we have to intervene uh, to bring some, and I trust you guys, y'all aren't new at this business. I don't know how long you've been doing this. I know, I remember when you were teaching, but you've been at this for three or four years now, right? One year. One year? Mm -hmm. uh, well, anyway. I was an administrator before this. Well, I, I don't remember your whole career, but I, I remember you from years past, and I thought you were in the classroom up until about the time I got off the board, and then after that, I, everything's kind of fuzzy because I, I didn't, I wasn't able to get one of those little machines that they use on the, that movie where Tommy Lee Jones or uh, it's not Denzel Washington, it's in, uh, some other actor flashes it and you have to forget everything. I, unfortunately, I couldn't find one of those. But what I'm saying is, is that, you know, I, I'm just beginning to wonder because um, my fear is, is overall as an organization we're going to fail if we don't somehow uh, find adults that are, that are more engaged in their enterprise and able to cooperate better. We are absolutely getting our heads handed to us in the marketplace right now. And if we if we if we don't change, uh, that's not everywhere. That's not everywhere. But uh, we are just getting killed. And uh, East End is going to build a. I mean, I'm working on that. I'm, I'm, not, I'm working on kicking their tail. Frankly, I spend more of my time, and that's what I got to do. So. I'll keep doing that. I, I'm, I'm, uh, let me think about everything y'all have said, but I, I'm just going to be completely disappointed if as leaders we can't convince uh, mature, high-quality people with college degrees that somehow we're going to respect one another. We're not going to use the N-word. We're not going to scream at one another. We're not going to push one another. You know, we're just not going to do that. Well, you know that in most cases that doesn't happen in a vacuum. So, you know, we right. can acknowledge the facts that, you know what, there are some bad eggs in both ranks, employer and employees, and you know what, the chips may fall where they may, but for the, for the large part since I've been here, most of our employees are trying to do the right thing, I agree. And, and most of the issues that come about, come about because somebody has forgotten the, the, the basic premise that everybody's professionals, they're here, they have a job for the same reason to educate the kids. Sure. And you and I know you know I'm not preaching to the choir here, but you know there have been some nice little clicks here that you know what, they are very quick to support some of these bad eggs once mm -hmm. they get cracked. Like I said, and, I, and I'll just use the one that we just heard, I know there's probably people standing around saying, oh no, don't let her go. Keep her around. We want her here forever. But the thing about it is, that's what's happened for the last now, 20 years. Let me, let me just clear one, that one thing out. Yes. Um, just so you'll know. The, uh, and it's very true. I've run a lot of companies, and I'm not, I'm not bragging about it, uh, but I've run some successful enterprises. And I've never had a good friends with them in the organization. These were people I liked, I respected, I knew their families. We shared a lot of time together, but there, there was never a time when we crossed lines to where personal relationships overwhelmed the mission of the organization. It just never, not ever, and you can't ever have that. So everybody here knows that now. And, and I'm not going to talk about any particular personnel, but I can tell you this, nobody even comes in here now and says, hey, let's go light on so-and-so or, you know, you got to keep in mind that you know so and so and I go way back. We're friends, or we and the, to the contrary, people are running from that sort of thing now. And the very people you mentioned have and not tried to you <laughs> did a minute ago, have exactly. not leveraged me. Have tried to in the least, not even the least, and they won't because they know it won't work. And they know by trying to do so, they will undermine their own ability 
uh, to operate effectively in an organization. So it's really, it's not simple, but it, you, and you've got a lot of that other stuff. I mean, it'll take a long time, but that filter's out. I don't curse at people. I don't scream at staff meetings. The first staff meeting I had, I walked in there, people were all kind of stone-faced. But you do understand that your predecessor did all of that. Oh, gosh, I was mortified <laughs> when I heard about it. And that's why some of his administrators felt like they could do it, too. Well, that's, that's no longer the right. case. Uh, and uh, uh, I was mortified. I was absolutely mortified that people were threatened with their jobs. They were uh, screamed at, cursed at. I mean, and I lose my temper. I'm a human being. Uh, who doesn't? But, I, I mean, I don't. When I lose my temper, you, it's hard to tell it, but... I hit my finger with a hammer the other day out at a uh, fair. You know, I'm glad nobody was around. But, but I mean, you know, I don't, I'm not going to go up on people. And uh, But that's your right. Once that happens at one level, it'll go all the way up. Just, and that's what's so unacceptable about grown men screaming at each other in one of our schools. Uh, or grown women. Or grown, it doesn't matter. Grown ups, I guess. Uh, this whole notion that somehow we can be disrespectful to one another even when you disagree. That's the, the we, you know, we, we just got to work through that. We just got to can't let that happen. Well, let, let me just say this on a positive note, uh, because I, I do appreciate the energy that you've brought to this seat, because I've seen a difference in my relations with HR um, and working with employees and reaching settlements so that we don't have to go through the grievance process, because I haven't had any that have gone to that level because we have negotiated um, we ha I had a situation today, for example, there was some fault on the principal side, there was some fault on the employee side, and my job is not to protect you when you're doing wrong, it's to hold you accountable on this end as the employee, you need to stop doing that, you need to change that, and the, the administrator who wasn't following progressive discipline acknowledged that she wasn't and made a shift as well, so um, I don't think... That's good to hear, I hope that yeah. I mean, I'm trying to do that, and I'm also trying to just, I mean, I think, you know, again, we have all the protests we want to about whatever you want to protest. I'm not even in that, I'm not even in, in I wasn't on the other side of that issue, and uh, Lord knows I served on the school board 12 years. I like school boards. Uh, they have to be effective, obviously, but, but all I'm trying to do uh, is figure out a way for us to come out of this cloud with a viable school district that's financially sound and, uh, um, and then one that, that offers an opportunity for a lot of people. Um, you know, we literally, you can do the math. If we lose 500 kids this year, they won't mean automatically that we lose 25 teachers. Not automatically, but over time, that's what happens. And the administrators, I mean, I, they're, they're going to be fewer, well, fewer of those trees in the, the woods, too. We're if you follow the state standards and say, well, okay, which one of these elementaries fall below what the state minimum is for the number of students, how many will those have to close down? And I understand this from our previous discussions about some of your plans to maybe combine or, or close some of the slides. I mean, I understand everything that you're trying to do, but being in the people business, you and I can sit around here and disagree across the desk till the cows come home. But if I see you at, at uh, Kroger, I'm going to come up and speak to you. And you know what? It's it's business. It's not personal. But unfortunately, your, the, your predecessor yeah. was, did not did not behave from that paradigm. And the thing about it is, it, crea it has created some problems. And I think. That are, and, and I followed what I said. You said we're going to do this the other two hearing here uh, with Miss Ray. We went through that. We did that as painful and long as it was. We did that. That was taken care of. The hearing officer made their decision. Like I said, they can't recommend. That's that's your job, and this is your school district for the most part because they said, hey, you're going to be the superintendent. Now I know you. Everybody's got a boss. But the thing about it is, I'm just saying that huh? uh, I'm going to see Johnny Key, but my real one is at home. But no, I'm, <laughs> we're, we're gonna, you know, we're, we'll make some progress, and we're and we're doing. I agree with you. There's some there's some really bright spots. I could I could show you on picture after picture of people. Not, not I haven't taken like a bajillion pictures, but just hard working teachers that are busting their tails and doing all the right things at all the right times, and just gorgeous. Like, um, I'm not sure I can tell you where this classroom was. 
it just the kids weren't in there. I don't know if it was a Saturday. Just look at that. I mean, just somebody has that teacher has just spent like. I mean, it was just perfect. I was in Jefferson like I on Saturday that before. I think that I've been in every school except medical. If I was going out there today, and then I got waylaid, you know how that works. And I need to go. I need to get to Henderson a little more. Uh, but I've, I've been working on stuff. But I mean, I've just got like tons of. I had a picture of that library at Dodd. You know how Dodd is. It's not what we're looking for. Uh, <laughs> but I had a picture of that. Um, at Hall where this man has put up no parking signs in his yard that, that I disrespect every chance I go to Hall. Yeah, this is the library at Dodd. You know that little dump of a building? That's a first-year librarian who has put that thing together, and it just is the most inviting reading environment. And she's, you know, we've had a few little hiccups at Dodd, but we're getting there. And I've, I've worked with some people out there to try to come up with a Pointing fingers and saying, "Okay, you, you, you." This, and, is, and not, this is what what really makes me mad. I got in trouble out at that's at Watson. Oh. That's the the neighbors. That horrible. That, that's on I mean, any Monday morning you go out there. That's what that looks like. It's beer cans. You know, it's not our stuff. I mean, unless we're if we're drinking beer in the school, we got bigger problems. That's yeah. just junk. <laughs> that's every Monday morning we go out there and people that just fill that dumpster up with everything, but you know, school trash. themselves to the next the people that are doing that. Well I hope they find the ones that set fire to the playgrounds. That's that's really that's really terrible. That's, we that's we up that um, I'm real disappointed our insurance company, I was trying to we're also too quick to admit things around here. Of course I'm a lawyer. I don't admit anything. I mean prove it. I'm good I'm good with the truth. I want the truth, but I'm not gonna admit anything. And so when those things happened, um, a couple of emails went out people that said, gosh, we got, it's too bad because we got $100,000 deductibles at both places, and the total loss is going to be about $240,000. So the maximum insurance would be forty. dollars So I'm going to send out, please quit sending emails about this. So I'm trying to convince the insurance company that's one incident, but they're going to make us prove that the same people did it, and we can't prove anything yet. So we up that reward to a total of $5,000, and we We've enhanced. We've gotten a better copy of the video in the hands of uh, the police, but we still don't. Somebody knows who did that. I mean, oh, seriously. Gosh. But uh, what was really all, what's and it, I wrote about it. Uh, that what's so what's so demoralizing about that is uh, these are these are kids on bicycles. These are not uh, you know teenagers or adults. These are these are literally kids that look to me. I'd say between around 13, 14, 15 years old. They had sex things going on. I, obviously, oh, I told them to quarantine that video, and I certainly will never see it. But that's why this, that video clip is so short, because they didn't just show up and light the playground. They were doing all sorts of things that kids 12, 13 years old shouldn't be doing. Then they lit the playground on fire, and then they run off. And they're in school somewhere. Mm -hmm. These are our kids. Oh, sure. if, we don't, if somebody doesn't get a rope and start pulling them out of the mud pretty quick, you know, they're, they're in real trouble. And just like I, we just had, anyway, I'll let y'all go. We just had a long meeting. Uh, I'm really focused on um, not handcuffing and hauling these kids out. Uh, every time, I, I've done a lot of work, and I'm in prison, so I was in a prison last Sunday night. You can talk to prisoners, and almost every one of them, if you ask them, have you ever been hauled out of middle school in handcuffs? Oh, yeah. Got a fight with a teacher. I, you know, I did this, I did that. That's one of the, the in my world, that's one of the greatest indicators of, Future failure, and we're really working not to do that this year. You know, that cradle to prison pipeline, they, uh, they made it a point that most of these prison cells are exactly the same size as the interior of the bus. So it's kind of like you're just dealing with the space, and you how can young people grow up? Other thing we're thinking about, if y'all know of anybody, um, instead of these 10 day out of school suspensions, and I know teachers want them out of the classroom. Teachers have, uh, under our union contract, some rights to throw kids out of the classroom. I don't think they do that very often, but uh, <laughs> do they? I mean, I don't some, think so. Some, some do. Some, yeah. Some, yeah. Of our, yeah. Um, some of our more problematic teachers. 
they well, try what I'm trying to do is we're, we're going to try to eliminate those 10-day out-of-school suspensions and send them to reading school. They're going to do their work anyway. Send them to a place that's nice. It's, it's, it's a nice place. I don't want to send them to Old Felder or something. I want them to go to a place where they, they walk in and they, they say, this is a nice place. I'm here to behave. I'm here in the nice Well, then they might try to go there if it's better than this school environment. Yeah. Well, I, I haven't been. Yeah. You know, I've, I'm on, I've got my antennas up everywhere I go, and I've been in every school. Um, not all since school started, but I mean, I've literally been in every school since May the 6th. There's not a place I haven't been. I need to go to Metro and walk all the way around. I've been there, but I haven't been all the way through it. But, but I've been in every school, and I know, I know which buildings. They're all clean. All the bathrooms are clean. The kitchens are clean. I've been in every kitchen. I've been in every bathroom. I haven't gone to the women's bathroom, but I'm in every, assuming it's as clean as the men's bathroom. But um, I've been in all those places, so I'm, I'm not embarrassed that kids are going places. Now, there's a huge difference between, say, Cloverdale and Forest Heights. I mean, it's just Cloverdale's a dump and needs to be bulldozed, and Forest Heights is essentially all new except for the gym and the cafeteria. But I mean, even they, the gym's terrible, but, and the locker room's even worse. But, you know, there, I, I'm okay with most of that, but we've still got, we've got to have a plan, and that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm working on. I'm working on this three- to five-year plan to, to get new schools built, to, to get us... Uh, New Education Center in Southwest Little Rock, the same stuff I told you. To get, we got to do something out west or we're just going to lose, continue to lose. The 13 kids that went to Quest last year, uh, and I can tell you that, I can tell you all, I guess y'all are in the school district employees. No, you're not. I can't tell you. I can tell you because it's more than 10 kids. I can't identify cohorts less than 10 kids under purple, but of the 13 kids they had, we had test scores on 12 of them that I've seen. Every single kid we sent to Quest Academy at from the fifth grade was advanced. I'm not talking proficient mm -hmm. or proficient in advanced. I'm talking about advanced, advanced, advanced in literacy, advanced in math. And if we keep doing that, you know, we're just enabling the competition. Mm -hmm. And of course, they don't want the kids that are, you know, I, I, if Easton wanted to start a high school uh, and let me pick the kids, I'd love to see what they could do with, with the kids that we're struggling with. Right. But until we can have some gonna. places where these employees can, can look forward to going to work and not dread it and, and say, hey, I'm, I'm ready to bring my passion, I'm ready to bring all this stuff here without it being manipulated by somebody who is under pressure because of school wars or this, that, and other and think that they can talk to somebody as if they were chattel here. The thing about it is, there, I'm not saying that that's permeated throughout the whole district. I'm saying there's a handful of individuals that, you know what? If I'm not hearing those stories this year. Now. Well, not, not no, to the extent you, that you, you were, because... Well, if you hear them, you call me, because well, we're not going to treat people that way. Well, and, that, and that's that's what that's our job, is to make sure that people just don't get treated that way. I don't... If somebody's not doing the biggest job, favor you could do for me, either one of you, you got my number. I don't but, have your number. Well, it's, it's you, can have, you can have right this one down. You can have the other one too, but I don't FIYA that phone, so I don't really. It's just call and say, hey, why don't you swing by? And, and you know the way I work, just so you'll know, and the way we all work, is I don't I don't do 